Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn, and today we're going to outfit the Kerberos. So we haven't moved off the planet. Um, if we go to navigation real quick here. Um, Darius, I'm talking here. Alright, so uh, Jade Falcon is just kind of holding on to this planet, so we're going to have to do some more work here today. Um, it's kind of our, uh, I'm taking it upon myself to make this my responsibility, so we're going to work on keeping this planet in our hands. So let's have a look here at the mech bays real quick. I fixed all the mechs up. Now you notice we have like 6.7 million sea bills. I sold a ton of inner sphere junk that we had in our storage. Still really haven't sold any mech components. So we still if we go to storage here real quick. You can see I'm not selling any mech components. Originally I went through and sold a few light mech components. Like that was quite a while back. Um, but I haven't sold anything. We have all our mech parts here. Um, so I've just been selling whatever junk we've been picking up, uh, inner sphere XL engines, additional X engines, all the inner sphere weaponry that we don't want, um, all kinds of stuff. So let's get the Kerberos outfitted today. I want to run this in a battle today. Don't have a lot of time to play. I'm going to leave the skull on here because I think it looks kind of cool. But we'll check out what else it's got. So we got the, the BFG 9000. We have a heavy clan, uh, or a heavy pirate PPC. Um, it falls out to 55% of its damage, um, so it'll go out down to about 50, 50 damage or so. Um, recoil of 2. Um, so, and its max range is 700 meters. So, it's not, I mean, it's not bad. So, we don't have a lot of uh, hard points on this mech. Unfortunately, you get 2 missile, 5 energy, and 5 ballistic. So, I'm wondering what we need to do to make this guy more viable. So let's pull this off for now. Um, we're going to need to put some Gauss ammo in. So that's the first thing I want to do, just so I don't forget to have it. Now this takes, from what I understand, it takes uh, railgun ammo, plus it also takes heavy Gauss ammo. And I think we've got both. So we've got one ton of heavy Gauss. Four shots. Okay. Let's just drop it in for now. Uh, and I think we do, we got sniper ammo, and we got one ton of railgun rail ammo, four shots. So, ah <laughs> uh, man, what's in the store, anything? We got eight rounds. Uh, oh, faction store is here. Let's see if we get lucky. Nope, uh, regular store. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Hyper Gauss ammo. Light Gauss ammo. All the kinds of Gauss ammo that we don't have. Rack 20 double. Weird that we're getting all this Rack 20 now. <sighs> well, maybe we don't need more than 8 tons. Yeah, that's my story and we'll stick, it to, we'll stick to that. We got sniper ammo. We can put a sniper artillery weapon in here. We've got it down here somewhere. We could put HA-30s in. Um, don't we have the sniper? We could put, yeah, sniper artillery. 20 tons. Don't have the room. Which is really unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. All right. We got recoil reduction on the arms, which is awesome. Uh, and cooling jackets, so it generates less heat, which is amazing. Um, well, we could just go with Clan Goss rifles. Put Ultra 20s on. It just means we have to close, which means we would need a really big engine. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, first things first. Um, let's grab some endo steel. Draw, uh, cannot drag endo. What? What? Not enough free slots. Oh, because this. I don't know. Is that all used up? Shouldn't. Shouldn't be an issue. All right. What kind of fusion core do we want? Where's my core's at? Here we go. 320 maybe? 
kind of speed we're talking about here. 4.7. 400. Yeah, we don't have to wait for that. 320. Wow. Let's make it real slow. Uh, we got the C-bills. So, where's our Clan XL engine? Clan XL engine, where are you? There we go. Put that in there. Wow. Uh, that's just 4.66 million C-bills. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that hurts. It's a good thing we sold all that stuff. I think I should put the gyro... <laughs> the, uh, the defense gyro on? I don't know. We can't We don't, can't put an XL gyro in this thing. The defense gyro can go on, though. Um, can we get... Now, can we get the clan end of steel in here? We can. Okay, cooling. we got to think about what we're going to do for cooling. So if we go with the ballistic build, we're not going to have to worry too much about cooling. Uh, I mean, we could put a pair of Ultra 10s on here. Um, so we don't have a way to get the integrated laser AMS on here. I guess we need to have a, a support slot in the center torso. We want to have a laser AMS, so let's just put that on for now. Just so that we know it's there. Uh, so ballistic-wise, what do we got here, ballistic? Um... The heavy PPCs would kind of be okay. Then I gotta start worrying about heat and things like that. What's my heat efficiency right now? Railgun's firing at 21. Okay. So. I mean, we could put Ultra 10s on. Ultra 5s weigh, what, what, 8, 7 tons? So we could go like. Nah, we're better off. If we were going to do that, we just might as well put a rack on. You know... <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. It's not looking very, that's not looking bad at all. Uh, these do, how much heat, 18? Yeah, I mean, it's a little hotter the more you round, wind them up, right? Put clan double heat sinks in. Oops, clan double heat sink kit, where is it here? Uh, clan double heat sink double. Now, do we have a plus two? I don't think we've got a plus two. Uh, we don't. Got plus one, though, no e-cooling. That'll give us 66. We're at 5.9 million already. It's only 12 days. Heat sinking is good like this. Let's see what our ammo situation is like. Um, where is our rack 5 ammo? It seems underwhelming for a 100 ton, 100 ton mech, but then you got to consider it's 100 tons at full armor. We got three tons of rack five. That's not nearly enough. Not anywhere near enough. I don't know, man. It still looks pretty nice. What's in the store? Was there any rack in the store? I don't think there was. Not five, anyway. Rack twos, rack twenties, ultras, regular AC ammo, mortar. Uh, there's nothing in the faction store, right? Under ballistic? Nothing. Yeah. It's got these cooling jackets, though, so how do we make use of those? We only fit one weapon on each arm. We've only got one clan heavy PPC. I accidentally sold the other one. We could just go with regular ER PPCs. Doesn't have damage fall off and it does go over longer distances. And considering we're not going to be getting close to people, there's just no way. 
that's a possibility. What are, what's our heat sinking doing here? Alpha Strike 131. So we would change out the double heat sink kit. And we would go with, uh, let's see here, the proto double heat sinks, I think. So let's just start dropping a few of these guys in here. Something like that. How are we doing here? Yeah, well, we can't do much else. It's a problem. Don't really have any exchanges. We got this crappy one. I mean, we could go. Th we could go with a bigger engine. Um, because our movement is what like really crappy right now. Four seven. We could go with a plus five. Change out the e cooling plus one because we do have a plus five. That means we could take out a bunch of heat sinks. Let's take out let's take out this exchanger because it's even worse, I think, than the heat sinks. No, it's actually a little better than heat sinks. Okay, where's that uh, exchanger? Put that back in for now. See how we're doing here. Okay, it's getting a little better. Still seems really underwhelming though. I mean this this thing cries for a uh, ballistic build. Like the racks on each arm would be perfect. I mean uh, we could refit the Orion. We're at six million already for this. Wow. This thing just cries for ballistic though. Let's get past the ammo here. Could put ultra tens on it. What's the range? Five hundred and ten meters. Like if we reduce the core back to the three hundred, let's say, for sake of argument, if we reduce the core back to the th to the three hundred, let's say, or three twenty even. We could put four of these guys on. Yeah, I mean it's almost the same as using the rack. Almost. So let's do this for a second. Let's put that engine back. This is a tough one. Because the railgun kind of fills up that space and you're just stuck with what you got here. Fifteen and a half. Twelve and a half. Let's go with the slightly bigger core. We gotta take the plus five out. Put the plus one back in. Um, and then let's look at the ballistic here. Like if we go with one, two, three, four ultra fives. Still need the ammo and everything, but I'm not worried about that because the heat generation is going to be way lower. So we can pull out this, 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 and this. And then just put in the regular double heat sink kit. Uh, Klein double heat sink kit. So we're really heat efficient here. Can even pull out the e cooling to max out the amount of ammo, and then ultra auto can of five ammo. We've got a double and a bunch of singles here. 
So we're going to want case. So let's grab that now. I think these are, yeah, there's no explosion from these things. So we just need uh, case two clan. Let's put the laser AMS in the head. Um, as far as targeting systems go, I'm going to put the other case, put another case two on this side. Targeting systems. Advanced TC gives breaching shot. Don't have room for it though. I have to move this over to one side probably. I think we want breaching shot more than anything. I mean we could go this route and go with recoil reduction. But I don't think we really need it right now. Yeah, we don't have much here to put in. Slick sweet, I guess. Sheath beacon, I mean. Actually, if we pull out the advanced one, just put in the regular one. Do we have the regular? We don't, really? We definitely want breaching shot. Just can't do it. We don't have the we won't have the space for the ammo. Um So what if, let's do this, these are five tons. Yeah, if we had the clan rack fives, no problem, two tons lighter. God, a cooling jacket, so you just want to put energy weapons in this thing. But a pair of PPCs is just, I mean, it's okay, but you'd be better with, like, double ultra 10s. Except for range. There's large heavy lasers, too, we could go with. We don't have the improved versions. Large ER pulses. They lack major punch and they generate a lot of heat. You go with four of these and sinking. Bigger engine. Oh man. So we got the Ultra Tens we could drop in. Hyper Assault Gauss Rifles too. Regular Gauss, 12 tons though. We wouldn't need case at that point. Like if we go... Because there's no explosion, right? So if we use case, um, gives us 12 turns of firing.
Let's just split it up though. Since it doesn't explode, we might as well spread it around a little bit. Yeah, we're doing pretty damn good. Because we got the range with the Gauss rifles, these are what, 7, 780. Um, just under four tons left. I don't know. Heat should still be good. Yeah. I mean, if we take the patchwork tier three, then we could go. this route. That'll help us with cooling. I don't know, man. Well, for the sake of argument, let's run this to see how it works. We gotta do something today. I just think we're missing some key components that we need to pick up off the battlefield. We need some better sensors. We want the plus the uh, recon sensors with the plus one to hit. Um, we need more amp, got heavy like the BFG ammo. I mean, we could lower the weight of the core slightly. Not really gaining any speed. That'll give us three tons. Like if we could just go with like a take this out we could switch this to an ERPPC instead probably gonna want it on the arm though right because it'll save some heat and then like maybe um, let's go with the crappy exchanger for now so yeah I mean it's not too bad what if we went with prototype double heatsink kit? Is it going to change things too much? Yeah, it's way worse. Um, sure. Let's try running this and see how it works out. Six. Wow, look at this. 14 days. Let's confirm this. There goes all our sea bills. Right. All right. How many days? Eight days to the financial report. So we got to sell some junk here. Uh, let's go to the store real quick. Come on, selling. So I'm going to sell a couple mechs. Um, I want to run the Iron Curtain. Do something with that guy. I think with the Wolverine DS, it's got two ballistic, four missile, Strix. We're not really doing melee, although it is kind of a nice mech. It's probably better than the Wolverine DS. We have just regular Thunderbolt too. Um, Thunderbolt Exterminator. We got three 65 tons mechs in here. The Gorilla we want to keep. Strix, let's just sell the nah. Sell the Wolverine. You know what? Let's just sell them both. Because we got Omnimex at the same weight. There's no point. Like we got still got two Stormcrows in here. And that'll give us our financial report. Cool. Alright, let's get this thing up and running and get into a mission here. 
Wow. Man, clans just spending sea bills like water. I wish I had this much sea bills with uh, um, the night witches, man. Just wish we were like bathed in sea bills like this. All right, six days, and then we can take this sucker on a mission and see what it does here. Um, six pack, huh? Yeah, let's send six pants for a month, see what happens. Possible medical point, point booth for 30 days, really, eh? Well, sure. Okay, guys, let's do this here. I'm interested to see how this this uh, BFG works. Okay, um, hard target. Because why not? Full salvage, because why not? All right, let's see what we're going to do here. So six packs out for now. So let's bring in Rhino. Um... And gonna leave the night gear out, I think. Let's shift this timber wolf down here and let's give uh, let's pull the mule near out and let's give Mockingbird the Kerberos. She's deserved it, she's one killer pilot, so let's just give it to her and see how she does with it. And let's deploy and get this done. Okay, well, at least we stay in cool. Okay, this could be really good for us. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Eat this. <laughs> yes, man. Okay, I can't wait to see what this thing does. ERPPC, two Gauss rifles, and a railgun. Alright, let's move up this way. I can take the first turn sprinting up here. Confirm. I think this is probably the best route to take. Take the high ground. Get a commanding, command look, commanding look of the battlefield here. See how dog slow this thing is. Sorry to put you in a slow mech, girl, but uh, that's actually not that slow. I thought it was going to be really, really bad. Okay, tanker. All right. How do we switch between? Uh, okay. I thought it could use... That's heavy gauss rifle. Where's the... Railgun damage. 200 damage. Commander. Okay, let's just play this real safe. What do we got here? Catapult. Jager mech. I should just put a void system on this thing and just have it load it down with ammo and just have it stand back and just hammer people from a distance. Yeah, you know who the threat is. You know who the threat is, buddy. Affirmative. All right, let's take advantage of this uh, moment. Let's just give this guy a moment of silence because uh, damn. Enemy See ya. Destroyed. Fucking shoot at me.
What the hell what kind of mech was that? Yolo Bold Bold Bold? Oh, Yeoman Gundir. Crap, that guy's gotta die hard. Wow, you really don't like me. I need more AMSs. Commander? Forty three percent, huh? Not good enough. And we'll fire this. Well, if you get me killed, I'm going to be very upset. What's up, boss? Roger, full speed. Gladiator. That guy's a prime candidate for the BFG. Okay, let's get on this guy. Okay, penetrated. Cataphract. Get some of this superior ablat of armor. Wow, both of our racks are down. It was worth it for that early kill, though. Black Knight, huh? Oh, that guy's gotta die, the Yeoman Gundir. Getting banged up real good. Yeah, I can see that. Well, you're an assault mech. You're supposed to. That guy barely moved up there, so I wonder if we got a better chance to hit him now. Omega, 150 tons. Well, that's interesting. I'm here. Fifty percent, huh? Now, how? Um, somebody told me we could switch between railgun and. Oh, there we go. So damage drops off, but it's still better, better damage. What? Forty times six, really? Canister round. It can fire regular Gauss rounds? That's kind of cool. Let's hold off on it now for now though. Um wanna go after whoever it is that's best chance to hit. Black Knight, not bad. White. Um No, I think we need to focus fire this catapult. We need to get rid of him. Nicely done. Mech destroyed. Yep, thank you for that. 
completely negates that last turn. I really appreciate it. turn the left side more and I think we open up on this guy with the racks gonna go all out I think okay fair bit of stability damage this is the gladiator we're gonna move over here though I uh, think we're going to Warlord this though, get a better chance to hit and fire across the map. Oh yes! Yeah, that Jormund Gundir is going to exact some uh, heavy toll on my ass in a second here. Okay, let's get over here. I want these two Timberwolves to go after this Yorman Gundir, but this guy is like really protecting him. Okay, firing. Yes! Might be some good there. ER large lasers for the win. Another Double white. Okay, armor. not so bad. Not so bad. Come on back out. I want you out in the open, buddy. Just don't have enough AMSs for that. Warning. Armor low. Yes, Commander. Really low chance to hit there. Um, let's get over in these trees. So we got the gladiator. Ooh. Not so good. The white and this guy. Let's go with this white. Little better chance to hit. Like no heat on this thing either. Alright, firing. Oh, two hits. Nice. Once that gladiator gets in the open. Like once it's into here, we're gonna nail it with the racks. He barely moved. Someone's gonna get the rail gun. Someone's getting it. Don't know who it's gonna be yet. Maybe you? Okay, gladiators in striking distance, so we gotta make sure we get rid of that problem fast so we're losing armor big time here our racks are fully functional so let's hammer them thanks for standing in the open which is much appreciated didn't do a lot of damage though Wonder if we can knock that uh, this guy down. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. On my way. Firing. Okay, not bad. We can make him unstable. Maybe we can knock him down. And firing. Ah, not quite. Moving out. Here comes the rain. Oh, crap.
That wasn't good. We can pull this guy down. Um, Damage minimal. Reading you. It's our chance to hit really bad. Okay, well, we're going to take it. Go with the railgun. Let's fire. Did that hit? Something hit. Oh, he took his arm right off. Okay, I'm going to do this. Yeah, man. Who goes first? Probably not me. I don't know if it's this guy. I hope not. What are you doing, guys? Yeah, it's probably one of the white. Yeah. Whites. Okay. I need to make a break for it. Yeah. I'm going to make a break for it. Timberwolves have to take a lot of the damage now. Okay. Uh, it's vigilance. Yeah, let's make a break for it. Um, I guess we can't really. Can't show the left side, man. Really? Wait, is this the army? That's the cataphract. Okay, we're going to need to let our uh, other guys take care of that. I know, we're on fire. Not much we can do about it. We can do that, though. We can turn these two off. And we can wind the racks up on this guy. Let's hope we hit him. Wow, five hits. Five hits. That's crazy. Okay, this guy's unstable. Uh, we just need to land one shot on him. That should be enough to knock him over. No? Really? All right, well, maybe this will be enough. Locking in all or not. Copy that. I know you had five bars of instability. I think we're going to multi-target with the uh, Kerberos. We can get a railgun hit on the uh, cataphract. Okay. Yes, Commander. Gah. Really low. Little better. Um. That's a lot better. Gonna warlord it and let's go this one and fire. Okay, 
Okay, significant damage. Not enough, though. Reporting. Series armor loss. I know. How much has this got left? 46. Still got to focus on this guy. Let's wind him up. Well, how much has he got left to CT? Not much. Let's take it down to three. Put those back on and fire. Damn it. Both these Timberwolves have to go up to Yormungandir now. Waiting for orders. Got it. No shooting. Just running. Taking the shot. Why is it we seem to hit better when we have a lower chance to hit? Come on. Okay. What's up, boss? On my way. Double time. Get on this guy. Here it comes. Reporting critical hit. Man, we haven't even faced the main guy yet. At least our two timber wolves are in full uh, working order. We're going to have to backstab the hell out of them. Okay, good, he switched targets, finally. Reporting. Major armor loss. Okay, let's see if we can pull this cataphract and the whites out of the action, or one of the whites out of action here. Uh, let's multi-target. Nope. I'm going to go this route. Um, um, yeah, let's do this. Still going, eh? This guy's almost dead. Can't believe he's hanging in there like that, though. It's crazy. Okay, Griff's got a good chance to go. As long as we can stay out of the fire. Maybe we can wind the racks up on one of these whites or something. We're going to be out of ammo by the time we face that last guy. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful now with the ammo. We're going to need at least 12 rounds. 
I'd like to have 24 rounds. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. Shit, what do we lose? The rack. God damn it. Well, at least we'll have ammo. What's up, Bubba? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. He's going down this turn. We got non we got non clan racks, but Good to go. it's not the same. Double time. Let's go. All right, firing on the side of this guy. Confirm. Okay. One less target. Off. Yeah. Receive. We gotta push him. We have to push him. We have no choice. Double time. Let's go. All right, firing on this guy. Let's see if we can kill him. Confirmed. Well, pretty much wrecked him. Solid connection on that one. I don't think he's got any weapons left. This guy's more or less in the open now, though. Oh, maybe we can get the BFG 9000 on him. We still gotta worry about that gladiator. Okay. Should probably vigilance on Mockingbird too. Don't know how much. Reading you. Oh. Well, hello there. Hi. Finally stuck your nose out, did you? Um, better chance to hit this way. Let's fire. Well, at least one of the goss is hit. on fire but it won't wow racks what jammed crap Let's see if we can get the kill on this guy nope not enough Order. Okay, Yormi's taking a sh shoulder hit here. Let's OP that shoulder. Don't have a lot of weapons we can use, but we'll use what we can. Crap. Fails to connect. Order.
full speed? <sighs> 40, huh? Same on this guy. Damn it all. Why is my chance to hit gone down? That's the damaged white. It's the gladiator. Turns a far and left. Multiple targets confirmed. Crap. Enemy eliminated. Order acknowledged. Man, it's taking forever. Once we can pull that friggin' Yarman Gundir down, things will be a little better off, I think. Yep. Yeah. Fuck. Damn it. Receiving God, we hope, let's hope this works. Okay. Getting there. Mockingbird's going on 15, though. Come on, guys. Think about what you want to do and do it. Kind of glad that gladiator is staying out of battle. Okay, we can get behind that guy next turn. 
If the Yormi goes down, my god, he's going to destroy my mech here. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. You know, the funny thing is, you get a Kerberos, you get a good mech, and then they, they, they just destroy it on you. Well, let's hope we get him. Reporting critical hit. No Gauss rifle ammo left. Now we just switch over. Griff's the stick. Griff is the stick. Griff is a stick. Got more right than left. Let's get in the trees. Embrace. Brace for impact. We are out of resolve. We got all our lasers back though. Finally. Move towards this gladiator. Uh huh. Not much armor left in that location. I don't know why you're complaining, kid. You mean you don't got any armor? Christ, at least you have your arms, your torsos, and everything else. Can't chase that guy down. And we can't go after the white without being targeted. Oh, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Well, could have been worse. I guess it couldn't have been worse. I'm here. Location confirmed. Taking the shot. So we need to get a TTS weapons in here. That's a myth. And some much better targeting gear. Nope, don't want to get in melee range. Firing. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. All right, what's that white doing? Okay. Reading you. Giving us a back shot. Still got full back armor. I'm not going to use the Gauss rounds because we're going to need it for the final guy. God damn. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Thank you. I know that. Griff the stick. Griff the stick. Commander. He walks around like he's a prick. Um, how do we get a shot on this guy? We don't, apparently. We do not. Waiting for orders. Move 
Order received. Firing. Firing full Finally. All right, let's start moving. Moving at full throttle. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Yes, Commander. Okay, so hopefully we take this guy down fast and we can kill that boss. Again, man, ER Larges for the win. Don't have to worry about ammo. Don't have to worry about ammo. PPC. Ah. Ready for orders. Okay. Good start. That hit something good. Moving out. Yeah, we can get a side shot on him. Nice. Let's do that. Firing. Taking shot. Okay. One left target. Gonna have a lot of repairs to do, but yes, commander. Biggest thing about this Kerberos is lacking ammo. Yeah, you just stay back there, buddy. Wait for the Kerberos to get up here. Waiting for orders. I copy. Got range. Copy that. Okay, we're still behind the hill here. Orders. Let's see if he can see us. I'm going to guess no. Primary target damage, Commander. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Firing. Acknowledged. Okay, that's a good start. Nope. Either we're out of range or he can't see us. That's a pretty damn good chance to hit. Taking it. Right after we Warlord. And firing. It's just kind of sad Griff doesn't get a chance to see this. I'm not interested in saving any part of this guy. I'd love to have the mech, but... I want to get out of here alive and intact. Going down. Doesn't bode well for him. Here it comes, folks. Yes. Oh my god. Mission successful. 
That's not going to cover repairs. Well, the Kerberos, okay, I'm giving it a double thumbs up because I think it's it's a great mech, but I think we really, really, oh, the Rack 5 just needs to be repaired. Or is that gone? That's gone. Crap. Um, but I think it needs, definitely needs more ammo, and it needs the right loadout. I don't think the heavy, I don't think the Gauss rifles and the PPC are working that much, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know. All right, see what we get here. Come on. Got lousy experience for some reason. I don't know why. It's a five skull. Jorman Gundir part. Black Knight Red Reaper. Interesting. Five laser, or 13 laser points. Could take four of those and let the chips fall. See if we get another one. Enhanced LRM 20. Bonus Gauss rifles. Plus one accuracy. Heavier than the clan ones though. X pulses, plasma lance. Would have been nice in uh, Night Witches. Combat shields, but possibility. It's not a clan exchange, it's not worth it. Double plus heat bank, heat dissipating armor, double heat sink kit. God, I don't know what to take. Prototype double heat sink, range finders, reinforced legs, sniper sensor, supercharger, virtual reality pod, we've already got one, Gauss ammo. Okay, I think we take the four Red Reaper parts. Right? And let's hope we get another one. Rolling the dice. Okay, one, two, three catapult parts. One, two, three, four, five. There it is, folks. Red Reaper. That makes almost makes up for the Orion being completely stripped. Wow, double plus Gauss rifles, or triple plus. I mean, Gauss ammo. Okay, so we didn't do too badly on this one. It was kind of an awful trade-off to lose those clan racks, but there's not much we can do about it now. Okay, let's have a look here. There it is. Heavy PPC paired with a PPC capacitor. X-pulses. Okay. Large shields, large, large vibroblade. Wow. Got no choice but to accept that. Thirty nine thousand <laughs> left. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Oh, that just hurts. Oh, let's manage our tasks. Let's get the curveverse up to the top. Let's get this guy up, and we'll have the third mech bay. Running these guys. Wow. That's a nightmare. Uh, let's see how we did with the Red Reaper here. Interested to see what we got on it. We're really not doing any melee, but look at this thing. Look at it. Let's just see what it's got on it. Endo composite, heat dissipating. Are you kidding me? Like nothing. Okay, so it's got an active combat shield. Right? Minus 20% damage taken, plus 20% melee damage, melee stability damage. Grants bulwark. Okay, and then it's got a vibro sword. 
plus 3 melee accuracy, plus 70 melee damage, 7 heat per turn. 20 plus 20% 20 melee damage, plus 15% melee stability damage, so not bad. XL engine. It's going to cause... I, I can't fix this. Just going to have to leave it for now. It is a melee mech though, so I should really be getting rid of it. But if we scrap it, I mean, we should get some good sea bills for it. What would we get if we just if we just scrapped it now? Over a million. So I mean, that covers our repairs. It's a good thing I I took those mech parts. I'm staring at this thing and I'm thinking this would be perfect in uh, in night witches, but unfortunately, this is like. We're not doing melee in this in this in this series. We're just not doing it. Uh, I think we're just going to trash this mech. I think we are. I'll leave it for now, though. We'll see how it goes in the next little bit, in the next episode. If we get enough sea bills, maybe I'll fix it or throw it in the storage. I don't know yet. We'll we'll see how it goes. We got we're at 1.4 million right now. Um, we got to put stuff in storage. Okay, the Mjolnir, while it was fun, uh, with the uh, Rack 20. Interesting loadout. Uh, I think it's the wrong mech for it to be on. So we're going to just pull this off of here. Because the Kerberos actually has some half-decent speed, the Rack 20 on that might actually work. Might actually work on the Kerberos. Let's put this in storage. Because we have some stuff in here I want, like the clan exchanger, things like that, right? I want to be able to use the Nova CEWS. The autocannon fire control system would go nicely on that uh, Kerberos as well. It's got powered sensors. Yeah, let's, let's just put this in storage. I'm wondering... We've got to get our cost down here. Um, I should just try, I should just sell this. Well, I'm not going to make any hasty decisions. Let's just leave it for now. See how it goes. We've already gone down almost 100,000 just by putting the mule near away. Yeah, we're going to have to run some other missions, I think. Um, but we'll worry about that at next next episode. Um, so we're going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like. Also, comments. What do you think about the Kerberos loadout possibilities? Um, you saw my gear. I don't really have a whole lot. I don't think we have what we need to make that into the, to a really great mech yet. If we had ripped the clan Ultra 20s or Ultra... Sorry, Ultra Fives off of uh, or Rack Fives off of the the Orion and put it on there when we had the chance. That would have been the best way to go. But now that we don't have that option, um, the Rack Twenty is a good possibility. Um, that's twenty tons plus ammo. We'll just have to see how it goes. We'll play it by ear, see how it goes next episode. We'll maybe I don't know if we'll have if it'll be back by next episode. Because it's going to be 27 days and then 44 for the Orion. So we may have to run with the two Timberwolves, the Night Gear, um, and probably one of the Storm Crows. Just to see if we can get some stuff going in the next episode. Uh, we got to get some sea bills. Desperately need sea bills. So, all right. All right. So until next time, we'll see you all later.